Fortnite Season 3 is finally here. A new biome, new mythics, and a ton of hidden secrets I guarantee you didn't know about. With Season 3 here, that means a new battle pass. And I'm going to be hooking up a bunch of you guys who hit the like button on today's video with the Season 3 battle pass. So once you hit it, leave a comment down below with your epic ID. If we jump in game, there's a new secret that only very few have discovered. Say hello to the new secret vaults. These secret vaults aren't like normal vaults where you need a key. Instead, you need to approach them and offer each door high tier loot. Otherwise, if you give it grey loot, it will just spit it out and request better loot. There are four doors total you've got to unlock, with the last door opening up in a chamber with a ton of chests and awesome loot. But while you'll be distracted by this, you might miss the huge secret situated within one of these rooms. That's right, one of the coffins has been opened and destroyed, and whoever was inside is now loose around the island. Strangely enough, there are these statues of the same person dotted all around, and they're all of relic. Except this one, which is a Colosseum statue of Peely surrounded by bananas. But then if you then head on over to the battle pass, you can see that one of his loading screens, he's up to no good. So I think we've just found our villain for this season. Talking about old villains, right at the end of the official trailer, I think we're all shocked to see the return of Dr. Sloan. She didn't die during the collision live event like everybody thought, and instead has been living on the island deep within the jungle at her little camp. You can go talk to her right now, but she doesn't actually say too much. She can be found just north of Mega City, and this little camp she's created has a ton of interesting secrets and artifacts. On her desk, she has a special book that she's currently inspecting. She's got walkie-talkies, a rucksack, and of course, where she's been sleeping all this time. We're most interested in this artifact, because if you look closely, you can see the secret symbols of Aurelia and Oro. They must have something to do with this new location, as we find more gold secrets in a minute. And how cool is this? There's even the tank that was hit by the mega robot, but unfortunately, as much as you can try, you can't use it and you can't get inside. A lot of the quests for this season follow Dr. Sloan's plan, so I wonder what she's going to be up to. But she's not the only NPC boss patrol in the jungle. Near the waterfall, you can find Paradise mouse kills, and, and if you end up killing him, he drops a couple of weapons as well. But did you know the secret about the error skin? The battle pass this season is full of awesome skins, but on closer inspection on a few of them, you'll notice some huge secrets, in particular, error. Wielded on her side at first glance looks to be a clock, but if you take a closer look, it's the zero point. The zero point was last seen being forged into the Fortnite Island to stay protected, and the last few seasons, it's been hidden away in a vault. Does she have some mythical power to do with time in the zero point? I guess we're going to have to keep a close eye on her, but have you seen the zero point? Located deep within the jungle is a random sphere, and when you get close enough, you can hear something very familiar. It's the zero point. Covered in rocks and vines, it looks like it's been here a while, and it's currently sending out signals, trying to speak. But who to? I guess this is a secret we're going to find out during this season. And from one crazy secret to the next, did you know that we might be seeing weapons used as back bling soon? This secret went completely under the radar, and a lot of the community have wanted this for quite a while now. If you watch the cinematic trailer back, you can see that as the temple starts to crumble, nearly all the characters in this scene place their weapon on their back just like a back bling. This looks like it could be a secret feature Fortnite are teasing, so fingers crossed it ends up coming to the game sooner than later, because I'm pretty sure everybody would love this. And when we all saw Paradise Mouse Tools doing this emote during the gameplay trailer, I'm pretty sure we all thought we'd seen this somewhere before. And that's because you have. This is Fortnite's version of a very well-known meme called This Is Fine. This is fine. I mean, putting them side by side, you can see Fortnite got this spot on. And I can't wait to do this mid-fight. And it's little secrets like this that set Fortnite apart from the rest. And whilst exploring this new jungle, there's one secret you got to keep an eye out for. Say hello to new llamas. During the official trailer, people with a very keen eye spotted something we've never seen before in Fortnite. Take a closer look at this frame, and in the background, you can see something glowing. This is a new type of llama. But this didn't only happen once, it happened twice. As of now, you can't actually find them in game, but I'm sure they'll be arriving here very soon. And with all these mythics you can get on the island, there is one that Epic haven't added yet, and that's the backpack minigun. This is a mythic heavy weapon with high damage, an extreme rate of fire, 
and a huge magazine size. It's apparently very inaccurate unless you aim down the sights from a fixed position and fire it in short bursts. Like I said, this secret weapon isn't in game yet. We don't know what it looks like, but it's going to be joining us here at some point during this season. And you thought that wasn't secret enough? They get even crazier. We saw in the trailer Optimus Prime, he arrived in style. It was pretty awesome, but he hasn't just arrived for no reason. We need his help. Secretly, without anyone knowing, he added his own radio station inside cars that warns us about the future events of this season. He tells us to make our escape. The reality is doomed, but hope is not lost yet, and listen and follow more. It seems like we'll be getting hints throughout this season and guidance from Optimus Prime himself through the radio stations on how to save this reality, I guess. But the place at which he spawned at is hiding something too. If you approach it and try to destroy this door, nothing happens. That's until you go into replay mode, and as you can see, if you slowly approach it and push through the wall, there's an empty room. There's no use for this room as of yet, but I'm sure it's going to be used at some point during this season. And if you're looking for the mythics of this season, then look no further. To get the new mythic drum shotgun, all you need to do is capture the flag on the island. Optimus Prime new Cybertron cannon, well, you'll just find that dotted around. And the mythic flapjack rifle can be found in vaults after killing Highcard and taking his key. And right now, if you jump in game and visit the new biome, there is a hidden secret that barely anyone has noticed. Around the new biome, we've got a ton of new flowers and plants. I mean, at first, they don't look like much. They're just normal flowers that explode. But if you slow the explosion down in replay mode, there is a huge secret behind them. You can see the plants look exactly the same as the sideways. These are flowers from the last reality. We get our best look from the official trailer, and if you put them side by side with the sideways, yeah, these plants and the sideways, they're from exactly the same place. I mean, I thought this temple looked dangerous from the square windows resembling the last reality and a ton more. I mean, this place can't be good, especially when you think about the UFO they found underground too. It's all starting to make sense. This could be the birthplace of the last reality. And and not far from this location is an object that has a very dark meaning behind it. Over the past few seasons, we've helped create a rift gate and then watch it destroy the island. But located on top of one of these ancient ruins looks to be some sort of early version of a rift gate. If we're going off the fact that this is the birthplace of the last reality, they could have been messing around with rift gates in the past. It has the symbols, the same as what we see on cubes, and if you destroy it, a gold plate can be seen underneath. Any ideas on what this is or what it might be? Be, let me know down below. And deep within the jungle, hidden away, is a secret reference a lot of people wouldn't have noticed. Yep, it's a crash plane, but not any old crash plane. This is the plane that brought Ego to the island back in Chapter 2. It was then used again during the vibing season back in Chapter 3, and now it's found its way into the jungle in Chapter 4. A cool little reference to Fortnite's history. 